Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obito Potato. We're back in Hearts of Iron 4, and of course, we are hungry for communism, baby. Indeed, we are. We're progressing with our national focus uh, tree at the moment, which is going to give us the communism upgrade, which is going to allow us to get a bunch of daily communism support. And goodness knows we're, uh, we're going to need it, because I think daily fascist support is... Uh, it's increasing, isn't it? Yeah, no, daily communism support is decreasing because of our current dude. An acceptance of fascist diplomacy is plus 70. So that's what our current chappy is doing for us, which is not exactly ideal. Um, I'll be I'll be honest, it's not exactly ideal. First bit of research done, what a momentous occasion. Let's indeed pick up a brand new piece of research. Um, Reinforce rate plus 5%, not really interested. Mechanical computing, again, not really interested. It would take a little bit too long. I kind of want to get my uh, production ca efficiency cap up. That would be really, really nice just to sort of start the show. Um, so let's, let's work on that. As of yet, no real... No real... Uh, no real opinions of my neighbors as a no real ide ideology that they've adopted except Austria. Austria seems to be uh, a mega fascist. Is that a technical term? I guess so. It is now. Um, Italy, you know, Mussolini, obviously a fascist. Hitler, the the big boy himself. Uh, Poland, chilling out. Romania, I mean, I'm more interested. Oh, you are... You are not aligned at the moment, but there is a hell of a lot of fascists in this country. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. 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 I am sort of interesting in promote. I'm interested in uh, promoting communism in this country. Uh, your next election is May 1938. Yours is 1937. But I can't actually. I can't actually um, boost party popularity, can I? No. But I think I can when I become communist. So if we rush to become communist and then we insert our spies, then we might just be able to influence Yugoslavia's election. Now, I don't know what the makeup of, uh, of things in Yugoslavia is, but it's not aligned at the moment. And we'll just have to wait and see uh, what happens to the party popularity. Friendship with Italy. That, to me, does not seem like something that I'm interested in. I think I would be more interested in reorganizing the Soviet Union. That's that's something that I that I would like to see happen. But unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, you've gone for preserving Greater Romania, have you? No, you haven't you haven't done anything yet like that. Wait a minute, what the hell are you doing? Okay, you've done army maneuvers in your Royal Guards division. Okay, that's lame as fuck, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. It is indeed what it is. Uh, we do have insufficient resources, but we're currently working on it. We're currently importing uh, some goods from the Soviet Union, the the big the big buddies themselves. But I think, I mean, Yugoslavia attract foreign capital. Consumer goods factories minus five percent. It really bothers me that he's decided not to go for the reorganize the Soviet Union. That really bothers me because I would have loved. A friendship with uh, with these chaps, and we're not stopping now. We've committed. We've committed. We've, we're not doing the balanced budget nonsense. I mean, we could still. Well, we can't really. Can't anymore. It's over for us. We've got to. We've got to. You know, we've chosen. We've chosen our bed. Now we've got to lie in it. That's what we. Uh, that's what we must do. Join the Revolutionary Council. Oh. Can create factions. The Union of Communist Soviets. The Union of Communist Soviets. Does, that just sounds like the Soviet Union, but just like reorganize like a couple of words in, in different places and whatnot. But whatever. There's not too much happening at the moment. Um, let's move our troops around because it's something to do, I suppose. Tire them out a little bit. <laughs> Why not, eh? Stick them back in Budapest now because we can. We're mostly just waiting for um, this to be done. As soon as this is done, then I think that we're going to be in a much, much better situation. Did I uh, did I lose some men for that? Did I lose my last 52 men? Oh, no. God, this political power gain is sucking so hard right now as well. God, it sucks. How is, how is Joe Dog? How is Stalin doing? 
Yeah, we can request some licensed production. I'm not, I'm not really interested. It'll cost us some civilian factories. They will accept. But uh, they've not got really anything that I really want from them right now. Maybe in the future. You never know. In fact, almost certainly in the future, I suspect. Because I want to be friendly with them. That's what I want to do. I want to be really friendly with them, the Soviets. Classic Soviets. All right, come on. Let's get this done. Let's whap it up into four times speed. I'm tired of the most important stuff uh, waiting. We've just got to make sure that we get fully Soviet by the time... Um, by the time the election rolls around. And we need to make sure that Yugoslavia is also fully Soviet by the time the election rolls around. Because even though they've decided to go for this, I mean, there is still a chance that they could maybe pursue a Soviet... A Soviet agenda? I don't know, I'm just... Um, I'm thinking by the skin of my teeth. Okay, fantastic, we got this done. Um, so now we need to wait for more than 30% for the KMP. Now, that might happen before the election. Um, or it might not. But either way, when the election rolls around, we are going to be... We're going to be in for a treat. Now let's try and work on a bunch of our factories. I would really like to see... Uh, factory output plus 5%, recruitable population 0.2%. That would be very, very nice indeed, and probably something that we are going to need doing in time. But maybe reintegrating the railroads. Czechoslovakia. I want to influence outside my own borders, if that's possible, but we'll have to see. Gain one research slot. That's fairly that's fairly far down the tech tree, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fret about that too much. Um, let's, let's start with secret rearmament. Let's increase our, uh, factory output, which is really, really nice. And now, the important stuff happens. We should start to see, oh, support weapons is done, fantastic. Can't really complain about that. That's very, 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 very nice indeed. Um, we need to work on... I don't really care about motorized inventory. I think I'm more probably gonna have to be just, like, digging in. So if we can get, like, defensive, um, defensive stuff, then that would honestly probably, uh, be a little bit nicer. I'm thinking defensive stuff is honestly what we need if we're going to be holding off, basically, until the Soviets, uh, come and rescue us. So maybe a little bit of anti-air, maybe a little bit of, um, anti-tank. It just depends, really. It just depends. Alternatively, we could go after a Doctrine. That's also something that we are going to have to work on, but it's something that we're going to have to work on in uh, in time. Let's actually get mechanical computing. I know I said that I was going to go for something a little bit more active, but uh, a little bit earlier. But let's just let's just do it. Let's just honestly do it. Um, institute royal dictatorship. So this guy instituting a royal dictatorship does provide us, I think, with an okay situation. Because King Michael's coup revived the constitution. Appoint Soviet friendly government. We just hope that someone around us decides. If Romania decided to become a um, a Soviet place, then that would be great. Can I. Can I stage a coup? They're already not aligned, so it's not needed to coup them. But if I was to coup them and try and create a I mean obviously if I could create a coup then I could you know get rid of the fascist part that would obviously be very 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 nice indeed um, because we really want the communist the communist side of everyone to come around uh, what has this guy gone for this guy is democratic we could stage a coup here obviously we would love to stage a communist coup in the south of the country but there's not really enough support for the communist side of things so that's really quite disappointing actually um, would love a little bit more support for communism in these parts, but unfortunately, unfortunately, we've just got to make do with, um, with the situation that we've got, but we will be keeping a very, very close eye on Romania and make sure that they, uh, let's improve relations with Romania. Uh, we need to make sure that we absolutely, absolutely keep very close relations with them. Um, also, it's going to be really interesting to see what Yugoslavia goes for. I feel that we're just, like, holding off on a bunch of stuff, because I'm really curious to see what the heck 
my allies do. I say my allies. I don't mean allies at all. I mean my neighbors. That's what I mean. Army modernization. I mean, that's kind of lame. Yeah, that's not really that's not really a big deal. Institute and Royal Dictatorship is still ongoing. That's cool. And the secret rearmament, which should allow us to um, get a little bit more manpower. I say a little bit. I don't really know how much. Uh, probably not very much. Disarmed nation. We need to change that ASAP. Um, we need to just bump it up to... Yeah, as far as I'm aware, there's no... Yeah, there's no negatives to going to vol volunteer only. Um, in fact, there's no reason not to go straight to limited conscription. Apart from the fact that it costs 300 bloomin' points. But it'll cost the same anyway, because, you know, 150, 150. I think it costs 150 per step, basically. Anyway, let's get a new little bit of research. What was that little bit of research that we finished? Oh, it was uh, it was construction speed. Uh, resource gain efficiency plus 10%. That wouldn't really help us out. It would give us a little bit more aluminium. But I don't think we're actually that bothered about aluminium. Um, synthetic oil. I never build enough synthetic oil uh, refineries. In fact, I almost never build any synthetic oil refineries. It might actually just be worth us getting it in order to get oil and whatnot. Because do we, do we actually need it for... We don't actually need it for these bad boys. We don't need it for anti-tank. I guess, I guess we just need it, obviously, for, um, for the, for the actual, the actual tanks. And I don't, I don't see us, I don't see us going down the route, the, the route of tanks. So I guess let's skip the oil refinery. Uh, reinforce rate plus 5%, that's lovely, but, I mean, we're not at war yet, and we're not even close to it, so... I see no reason to uh, to beeline for it straight away. Uh, land doctrine again would be lovely, but I'm really not in any rush for it. I think maybe getting an engineer company to help us um, to help us dig in, just give us a bunch of extra defense everywhere. Really, I mean that's really what we're after. I think we really want to have um, engineers company engineer engineer companies pretty much everywhere. Just uh, making sure that things are under control. Is our resources going to the appropriate location? My goodness, we do have a lot of aluminium. That is tr that is for real. We we have a lot of aluminium. Spanish Civil War, this is fine. Nationalist War, what does this mean for Spain? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Army Modernization, you're going Institute Royal Dictatorship still. Nothing new has changed there. That is A-OK. -okay. Uh, communist support is rising, but it's rising hella slowly. Uh, Italy took one state, Ethiopia was annexed, and 3,000 equipment was sieged. That's cool. That's that's fine. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what Italy does, because I'm pretty sure Italy has a tech tree as well that allows them to become communist. I doubt that they're actually going to go for it. Befriend Yugoslavia. Befriend Romania. Go after France. I guess they don't have one that goes... Uh, Soviet war with the UK, war with Germany. No, nothing, nothing too. Yeah, nothing too, nothing too interesting there. I'm afraid. So we're mostly just going to be having uh, a look at Romania and whatnot. I can't create a faction. If I could create like a Balkan faction, that would be ideal for us. Uh, and then I could slowly influence the Balkan faction and make sure that they were all, they all became communist. That would be really, really nice. So what are we at? The KMP, the party ideology is, is very, very low right now. The fascist ideology is reducing slowly but surely, uh, mostly because of the increase in communism. That's democratic, obviously. I don't know why I pointed at that. The fascist is uh, is reducing, but communism is increasing, which is nice. Leadership purges. Uh, Soviet command has suffered greatly. Okay, let's look at another national focus that we want to uh, that we want to go after. War games will give us army experience plus twenty five percent. I mean that's nice, but it's not really that essential. Uh, Kingdom of Romania gets hun Hungary demands the right to reclaim. Oh my goodness! Small scale rearmament will not suffice. We must reach out to our neighbors. Hungary has a, a an equal right to armament. Okay, interesting. Interesting. I don't particularly want to go to war with Romania. I don't particularly want to go after Romania, but I do want to be in their good books. So it's very, very important. 
it's very, very important to me that we that we keep uh, we keep friendly with our with our chaps. Let's go after this research slot. I feel that that's uh, that's good enough to get us a little bit of manpower, which will help. Indeed, it will. But now we can actually go after uh, go after some proper stuff that will help us long term. You know. Okay, preserve Greater Romania. This is okay, I think. This is okay. Align Hungary. Well, I would have preferred that. Um, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Puppet Bulgaria? No. But this is okay. This is fine. I deal with the devil. Um, please go for this. Please go for this. Please go for this. Don't go for this. Just go for a deal with the devil. A deal with the devil would be really, really nice. And it looks like that they can do it right now. So if they decided to do that, then that would be hella, hella nice. Uh, okay, let's let's check on my old buddies Yugoslavia, see what they're doing. They're still doing army modernization. That's pretty lame, pretty boring, whatever. Um, preserving Greater Romania. Minus 100% guarantee... Guarantee tension limit, minus 100%. Guaranteed cost, minus 50%. Oh, great. Games of the Olympiad. Don't really particularly care about that, but it's just another... Another, uh... Another step along the road, I suppose, isn't it? Um... Oh! Did they say something? Hey! I'm... I'm... I think that that's probably, uh, Hungarian. Yay! Basic machine tools. Nice. That's actually going to help us a hell of a lot. We'll look at that in just a second. Uh, dispersed industry factory output. Max factories in state plus 20%. Oh, what do we want to go for? Dispersed industry or concentrated industry? Factory output plus 15%. Dockyard output plus 10%. Max factories in state plus 20%. This is factory output plus 10. Dockyard output plus 10. Production efficiency retention plus 10. Production efficiency base plus 5. Conversion speed bonus plus 20%. Um, hmm. Max factories in state plus 20%. Max factories in state plus 20%. Honestly, probably concentrated industry. We don't really have... It's not that big a deal, to be honest. It's just a 5% factory output. You know what? No, it doesn't make sense to go for concentrated industry. I honestly think that dispersed industry is just so much better. I mean, sure, we're giving up on 5% factory output, but look at all the extra bonus stuff that we get. Conversion speed bonus plus 20%. That's nothing to sniff at. Production efficiency retention and production efficiency base, uh, both of which I think will come in very, very handy. So let's, let's go straight for some more boring old industrial engineering technology. That's right, the classic. That's the way to do it. That's the way to do it. I feel that I do want to trade more resources, but I just... Don't want to do that. Also, we're almost finished with our brand new, uh, our brand new civilian factory. The first of, well, not many, I suppose. Uh, yeah, we did say that we weren't really going to care that much about synthetic refineries because, I mean, they're kind of, kind of useless. Like, if you, if you, if you conquer, if you conquer carefully, you can, uh, you can manage to get oil. Well, it looks like we already have oil, so it doesn't even really matter. I mean, we would get rubber if we decided to uh, to go for it. That would be kind of nice, but I'm not that bothered about it again. Uh, we can choose to modify the government. Now, disarm nation, pumping it up to uh, volunteer only is not something that we can do yet because we've still got the Treaty of Trianon. How do I get rid of this bloody treaty? There is a way that I can do it. Um, industrial revitalization, theoretical air efforts. There is a way that I get rid of this treaty. I just have no idea how it actually... How it actually is. Renounce the Treaty of Trianon. I mean, yeah. That's not something that I can actually do. Hungarian Red Army does not have National Spirit tr Treaty of Trianon. Hmm. Yeah, there must be... There must be a way to do it. There must be a way to do it outside of the fascist tree. Because otherwise, otherwise, let me tell you, we are, we're going to be in some trouble, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, military factory construction speed and recruitable population, both down. Not, not exactly ideal. Um, civilian economy, 
moving to early mobilization we can't even do that yet export focus we can trade we can change from export focus to free trade which would give us factory output increase but it would make us lose more resources and i don't particularly want to go uh, into any more steel debt uh, preserving greater romania still happening motorize the cavalry that's so lame dude can you not go for some like interesting stuff please i don't really care about any of that boring stuff so there you go anyway ladies and gents on that note thank you very very much for watching it's been another it's been another administrative episode where we've been uh, where we've been working on uh, just getting our country up to shape but we'll get there we'll get there eventually thank you very very much for watching and i'll see you next time bye